people. All right, we got to move on to the next topic. Uh, the current head-to-head matchup uh, shows a very close race between Trump and uh, Clinton. Uh, the two virtually tied in this real clear politics average of a bunch of polls. Uh, those numbers also contain Trump's convention bounce and just one poll from after the Democratic National Convention. Uh, Pat Cadell, you object to the methodology of the poll done by Reuters after the DNC. Explain that. Well, the reason the polling real clear average was dead even, 43.7 apiece, until Reuters went back and reallocated their numbers. I've never seen anything like this. I've read carefully the methodological statement, and essentially what they decided was people who said neither. In an election where attitudes are volatile, they just simply decided that there were too many Clinton people who were really going to be for Clinton. And they basically, it appears to me, just allocated them to her. And what it produced is a result that is, uh, uh, that is frankly, it was not tweaking, as they said. It was cooking the poll. And I'm a little tired of what's happening in the media, including using every instrument they can to try to put their thumb on the election. And I call on the American Association of, of Public Opinion, which is supposed to monitor our industry, and ask them to intervene in this. This was outrageous. Right. And Got I think Doug's seen some of the same thing. Yeah. Uh, and uh, speaking of this uh, perceived media bias, uh, Donald Trump during a news conference Wednesday had this to say about media coverage of the emails that were uncovered in this DNC email hack. The Nonpartisan Commission on Presidential Debates is now responding to Donald Trump's suggestion that Democrats rigged the debate date so they would happen during NFL games. Our political insiders are back, Pat Cadell, John LeBoutlier, and Doug Schoen. Uh, the commission says there are only four debates. There are more than 1,000 games. They can't possibly avoid them all. They do their best. They give everyone lots of notice so they can adapt, uh, et cetera. Pat, what do you say to this? Well, first of all, I have to say that that is, and I hope I can come back again to point on, on this thing with Khan and so forth. But I, I want to tell you something. I wrote a piece uh, a few week, a few months ago. I've been involved in this effort. This is the most fraudulent operation in American politics, rigging the system of Democratic insiders and Republican insiders of the political class in this debate commission who get together and set the rules to make sure that independents are not going to be in it, who set the dates. They have no legal standing to do this. And essentially, the Republicans got clobbered in 2012 because the Democrats on the commission, the staff, ru is run by liberal Democrats, as all bipartisan efforts should be. You know, Democrats <laughs> always do that. But the fact is that you have a rigged group of people, and the Trump campaign has every right to raise its objections. I don't care that they said a year ago, they are not a legal operating body. They are a body that is used to suppress All right. democracy John, in the I name of the political class. Well, okay, everything Pat said is correct, but they'll still end up Trump and Hillary's campaigns will run these debates. They'll decide all the they rules should. and the schedule, and they will not be in conflict with NFL games. There are no games on Tuesdays and Wednesday nights. They'll do it. They'll, they'll work it out. It's not a big issue. It's going to get done. Doug, is this blown the real out question of is participation. I, I'm sorry. Is this blown out? Of Here's the issue. Pat raised the larger theme here we have to focus on. The elites in Washington, the Congress, the bureaucracy, work for their own interests not the interests of the American people. It's the theme Pat rightly spoke of that Trump should talk about what Hillary's trying to, to talk about. The point I was going to make earlier is given the tensions in the electorate, I think we're going to end up with an electorate that is now about 50-50. The momentum recently has been in Donald Trump's direction. Whether that can, can continue will depend on whether he can deliver his message, get his uh, view of the world out in the face of Clinton's overwhelming resource and organizational advantage. Well, uh, Pat was going to say the participation thing of third parties, Gary yeah. Johnson, Jill Stein. Good point. Whether they get in the debate. It's a huge issue. Right. Oh, huge yeah. issue. Huge Changes issue. the whole campaign. It does. All right. We have a lot more coming up. Can Hillary Clinton overcome the criticism that winning in November would just be an extension of President Obama's policies? We'll hear more from our insiders on that. But first, Donald Trump. When they talk about change, I notice they have change. She's been there for 30 years. 30 years. There's no change. It's going to be the same. It's going to be an extension of Obama, in my opinion, worse.